Japan's cities are a marvel. They are the epitome of efficiency, cleanliness, and cultural richness. Picture this, towering skyscrapers reaching for the heavens, punctuated by tranquil temples offering a serene escape from the bustling metropolis. This is the intriguing blend of tradition and modernity that characterizes Japan's cities. Tokyo, for example, is a vibrant urban maze, teeming with neon lights, high-speed trains, and millions of people. Yet it's also a city where you'll find quiet alleyways lined with traditional tea houses and charming gardens where time seems to stand still. It's this harmony between the old and the new that gives Japanese cities their unique charm and allure. But what's the secret behind the success of these urban centers? What makes them so efficient, so clean, and so culturally rich? Well, that's exactly what we're here to explore. You see, the thriving nature of Japan's cities is no accident. It's the result of meticulous urban planning, cultural integration, and technological advancements. It's about preserving heritage while embracing the future. It's about striking a balance between rapid development and sustainability. In the heart of these cities, you'll find a strong sense of community and cleanliness. It's not uncommon to see residents taking pride in their neighborhoods, participating in local cleanup drives, and contributing to the overall well-being of their city. This community spirit, coupled with innovative public policies, makes Japanese cities some of the cleanest in the world. And let's not forget about the green spaces. Despite the high population density, cities like Tokyo have managed to maintain lush parks and gardens, offering inhabitants a much needed respite from the urban jungle. This focus on sustainability and green living is yet another facet that adds to the allure of Japan's cities. In the next few scenes, we'll delve deeper into these elements, providing you with a comprehensive understanding of what makes Japan's cities truly great. So buckle up as we unravel the secrets behind the thriving nature of these magnificent metropolises. First stop, urban planning. Japan's cities are meticulously designed masterpieces. When we think about the great cities of Japan, whether it's the bustling metropolis of Tokyo or the serene beauty of Kyoto, we often marvel at the seamless blend of tradition and modernity, the incredible efficiency and the striking aesthetic appeal. But what we might not realize is that behind it all is a secret ingredient, innovative urban planning. Urban planning in Japan is not just about designing buildings and roads. It's a holistic approach that takes into consideration the safety, efficiency, and beauty of the urban environment. At its core, it's about creating a city that is not only functional, but also enjoyable to live in. Let's begin with safety. Japan is a country that is no stranger to natural disasters. Earthquakes, typhoons, and tsunamis are all part of the reality of living in this part of the world. But instead of cowering in fear, the Japanese have turned adversity into advantage. They have used innovative urban planning to build cities that are resilient and disaster resistant. Take, for example, the concept of disaster risk reduction through design. This involves the strategic placement of parks and open spaces that can serve as evacuation areas during emergencies. Buildings are also designed to be earthquake resistant with state-of-the-art technology that allows them to sway with the Earth's movements instead of collapsing. Next up is efficiency. Japanese cities are famous for their efficient use of space. In a country where land is at a premium, every square inch counts. But more than just maximizing space, Japanese urban planners have found ingenious ways to make the cityscape more livable and convenient. Consider the multi-purpose use of spaces. During the day, 
a river might be a scenic spot for a leisurely stroll. But come nightfall, it transforms into a vibrant food market. Or take the example of Tokyo's capsule hotels. These tiny pod-like rooms are a testament to the Japanese knack for space-saving design. It's all about getting the most out of what you have. And then there's the aesthetic appeal. Japanese cities are a visual feast with a harmonious blend of old and new. Traditional temples and shrines sit comfortably beside sleek skyscrapers, creating a cityscape that is uniquely Japanese. This balance is not accidental, but the result of careful planning and a deep respect for cultural heritage. The Japanese have a term, ma, which refers to the space in between, the void that gives shape to the whole. This concept is evident in their urban design. The positioning of buildings, the layout of streets, the arrangement of public spaces, everything is thoughtfully designed to create a sense of harmony and balance. From the manicured gardens that provide a splash of green amidst the concrete jungle to the warm glow of lantern-lit alleyways that offer a respite from the neon lights, every element is carefully curated to create a city that is not just efficient and safe, but also beautiful and inspiring. So what can we learn from Japan's approach to urban planning? Perhaps it's the idea that cities are not just about buildings and roads, but about people. It's about creating environments that are safe, efficient, and enjoyable. It's about respecting tradition while embracing innovation. And most importantly, it's about seeing the city not as a collection of individual elements, but as a cohesive whole. Clearly, careful planning is the bedrock of Japan's urban success. And as we continue our journey through Japan's great cities, we'll see how this foundation of thoughtful, innovative urban planning supports other key elements that make these urban centers thrive. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the secrets behind Japan's urban brilliance. Next, we delve into the heart of Japan's cities, their rich cultural heritage. Japan's urban spaces are a testament to the country's commitment to cultural preservation. Amidst the rapid pulsation of modernity, these cities embody a unique fusion of the ancient and the contemporary, creating a vibrant and dynamic tapestry of life. Take Kyoto, for instance. It's a city that breathes history. From its cobblestone streets to the vermilion gates of Fushimi Inari Shrine, Kyoto is a living canvas of Japan's rich cultural heritage. Yet, it's not trapped in the past. The city seamlessly weaves its history into the fabric of its modern existence. You'll find ancient temples sharing the same skyline with modern buildings, traditional tea houses nestled alongside bustling shopping districts. Kyoto is a city that embraces its past while looking forward to the future. Now let's journey to Tokyo, a city that's as famous for its high-tech innovations as it is for its traditional festivals. Amidst the towering skyscrapers and neon lights, Tokyo's cultural heart beats strong. The city is a kaleidoscope of festivals, or matsuri, each with its own unique charm and history. From the energetic samba carnival in Asakusa, to the serene cherry blossom viewing parties, or hanami, these festivals are moments when the city pauses, steps back from the relentless pace of modern life, and immerses itself in tradition. These cultural events don't just preserve history, they actively engage with it. They invite both locals and visitors to participate, to experience, and to connect with the city's cultural heritage. They create a sense of community, a shared identity that transcends the individual and connects to the collective spirit of the city. But it's not just about grand festivals and historical sites. The integration of culture in Japanese cities can be seen in the smallest details. 
It's in the meticulous art of bonsai that adorns public spaces. It's in the beautifully crafted bento boxes that office workers unpack at lunch. It's in the ritual of tea ceremonies, the precision of Ikebana, the discipline of martial arts. Each of these practices is a thread in the rich cultural tapestry of Japanese urban life. And then there's the language. Japanese cities echo with the soft syllables of the country's language, a poetic reminder of the culture that shapes them. Street signs, store names, even the recorded announcements in public transport are all in Japanese. While this may seem obvious, it's an important aspect of cultural preservation. Language is a powerful tool for maintaining cultural identity. And in Japanese cities, it's a constant comforting presence. What's truly remarkable about Japan's cities is how they manage to balance cultural preservation with the demands of modern urban life. It's a delicate dance, a constant negotiation between the old and the new. But it's a dance that these cities perform with grace and precision. They show us that progress doesn't have to come at the expense of heritage, that it's possible to honor the past while embracing the future. This balance isn't an accident. It's a conscious choice, a commitment to cultural preservation. It's embedded in the urban planning, in the architecture, in the city's festivals and daily rituals. It's a testament to the values of the people who live there, their respect for their heritage and their desire to pass it on to future generations. So as we walk the streets of Tokyo, as we explore the temples of Kyoto, let's remember that these aren't just cities. They're living, breathing embodiments of Japanese culture. They're places where the past and the future coexist, where tradition and innovation share the same space. They're cities that tell a story, a narrative woven from the threads of history and the promise of what's yet to come. Indeed, Japan's cities are living museums, harmoniously blending the old and the new. Now, let's step into the future. Welcome to the world of Japanese technological innovation. In the land of the rising sun, technology doesn't just play a role, it takes center stage, transforming urban life into a spectacle of efficiency and convenience. It's not just about having the latest gadgets or the most advanced infrastructure. Instead, it's about how these innovations are seamlessly integrated into daily life, enhancing the quality of living and shaping the cities of tomorrow. Let's start with the heart of any city, its public transportation. Japan is renowned for its punctual and efficient transport systems, with Tokyo's metro system being a prime example. This isn't your ordinary subway network. It's an intricate web of lines and stations serving millions of passengers daily. But here's the kicker. It's rarely ever late. We're talking about an average delay of less than one minute. Now that's precision timing. This efficiency isn't just a result of meticulous planning and discipline. It's also a testament to the cutting edge technology that powers it. From automatic ticket gates to contactless smart cards, digital signage, and real-time updates, technology permeates every aspect of the journey. And let's not forget the high-speed bullet trains, or Shinkansen, that zip across the country at speeds of over 300 kilometers per hour. It's like stepping into a science fiction movie, but it's everyday life in Japan. But technology in Japan isn't just about speed and efficiency, it's also about sustainability and cleanliness. And nowhere is this more evident than in the realm of waste management. Japan is a world leader in this regard, employing smart technologies to keep its cities clean and green. Take Tokyo, for instance. The city has a sophisticated waste management system that uses RFID tags to track and sort waste ensuring efficient recycling. And then there's the smart bins, which compact trash and notify collection teams when they're full. These aren't just gadgets for the sake of having gadgets. 
They're practical solutions that make a real difference in the cleanliness and sustainability of the city. But let's not forget about the role of technology in everyday city life. From vending machines that serve hot meals to smart toilets that, well, let's just say they do more than just flush. And then there's the ubiquitous convenience stores, or konbini, which are a marvel of efficiency and convenience. They're not just a place to grab a snack. They're mini logistical hubs where you can pay bills, send parcels, and even buy concert tickets. And it's all powered by technology. And let's not forget about the robots. Yes, robots. From robotic waiters and hotel staff to automated factories and even robotic pets, robots are becoming an increasingly common sight in Japanese cities. They're not just novelty items, but practical solutions to real world challenges. Whether it's dealing with labor shortages, improving productivity, or simply making life more convenient, robots are playing a key role in shaping the future of Japanese cities. But what's truly remarkable about all this is how seamlessly these technologies are integrated into everyday life. They're not obtrusive or intimidating, Instead, they're designed to be user-friendly and intuitive, making life easier and more convenient for everyone. It's a testament to the Japanese philosophy of monozukuri, or the art of making things, which places a strong emphasis on craftsmanship and user experience. In Japan, technology isn't just about convenience, it's about creating better cities. It's about using innovation to solve problems, improve quality of life, and make cities more sustainable and livable. It's about creating a future where technology and humanity coexist in harmony. And if the cities of Japan are any indication, that future is already here. So, as we step out from the neon lights and high-speed trains, we're left with a glimpse into a future where technology isn't just a tool, but a way of life. A future where cities are not just places to live, but vibrant, efficient, and sustainable ecosystems that inspire and fascinate. A future that, in many ways, is already a reality in the great cities of Japan. In Japan, technology isn't just about convenience, it's about creating better cities. Ever wondered how Japanese cities stay so clean? The answer lies in their strong community spirit. Let's talk about a phenomenon you'll notice the moment you set foot in any Japanese city, cleanliness. From the bustling streets of Tokyo to the serene alleys of Kyoto, cleanliness is a common thread that binds all Japanese cities together. But what's the secret behind this impeccable cleanliness? The answer, my friends, is the power of community. In Japan, cleanliness isn't just an individual task. It's a collective responsibility. A responsibility that's shared by everyone, from toddlers to the elderly. This sense of community-driven cleanliness stems from an age-old Japanese saying, cleanliness is next to godliness. It's deeply ingrained in the Japanese psyche and is reflected in their everyday lives. Let's take a stroll through a Japanese neighborhood. Every so often, you'll come across groups of people, young and old alike, participating in neighborhood cleaning days. Equipped with brooms, trash bags, and an unyielding spirit of community service, they sweep the streets, pick up litter, and ensure their neighborhood is speak and span. These cleaning days are not just about maintaining cleanliness, they're about nurturing a sense of community, fostering camaraderie, and instilling a sense of responsibility towards the environment. But it doesn't stop at neighborhood cleaning days. Japanese cities are also known for their strict recycling practices. Now, we all know recycling is good for the environment, right? But the Japanese take it to a whole new level. Households meticulously sort their waste into multiple categories, burnable, non-burnable, recyclable, even specific types of plastic get their own bin. It may sound a tad overwhelming, but it's second nature to the Japanese. 
It's their way of ensuring that waste is managed efficiently and that they're doing their part to protect the environment. In fact, the concept of cleanliness is so deeply rooted in Japanese culture that it's even incorporated into their schooling system. From a young age, Japanese students are taught to clean their own classrooms. Yes, you heard it right. There are no janitors in Japanese schools. Instead, the students themselves take turns cleaning the classrooms, hallways, and even toilets. This practice known as osoji is more than just a cleaning routine. It's a lesson in responsibility, respect, and teamwork. It's about understanding that cleanliness is everyone's job. Moreover, the Japanese also abide by the principle of motainai, which roughly translates to what a waste. This principle encourages people to respect resources and avoid waste. So not only do they keep their surroundings clean, but they also strive to minimize waste. From using every part of a food ingredient to repurposing old items, the Japanese embody the spirit of motainai in their daily lives. So you see, cleanliness in Japanese cities isn't just about keeping the streets free of litter, it's a holistic approach that combines community spirit a sense of responsibility and respect for the environment. It's a testament to their cultural values and a shining example of how a community can come together to create a clean, sustainable urban environment. Just imagine, if we all adopted even a fraction of these practices, how much cleaner, greener and more sustainable our cities could be. So the next time you're in a Japanese city, take a moment to appreciate the cleanliness around you. And remember, it's not magic, it's the power of community. In Japan, cleanliness isn't just a responsibility, it's a way of life. Finally, let's take a breath of fresh air. Welcome to Japan's green oasis. Imagine strolling through a bustling metropolis, skyscrapers reaching for the sky, neon lights painting the night, and then, almost out of nowhere, you stumble upon an expanse of greenery, a park, a garden, a rooftop sanctuary. This isn't a rare occurrence in Japan, but rather an integral part of their urban landscapes. Despite the high population densities, Japanese cities are known for their green spaces. These are not just patches of, uh, of grass tucked away in corners, but are well thought out, meticulously planned and beautifully maintained areas that provide a breath of fresh air amidst the concrete jungles. Take Tokyo, for instance. It's one of the most densely populated cities in the world, yet it's brimming with green spaces. From Ueno Park with its tranquil ponds and cherry blossom trees, to the Imperial Palace East Gardens showcasing the delicate balance of Japanese horticultural artistry, Tokyo has made green spaces a priority. The city's urban parks are not just places to relax, but are also venues for cultural festivals, recreational activities, and community interaction. They are a reflection of Japan's deep-rooted respect for nature and its commitment to ensuring that even in the heart of the city, the connection with the natural world is never lost. But it's not just about parks. Japanese cities have taken urban greenery to new heights, quite literally. Rooftop gardens are a common sight in many Japanese cities. These sky-high sanctuaries not only provide green spaces in areas where land is scarce, but also contribute to reducing the urban heat island effect, a phenomenon where city areas are significantly warmer than their rural surroundings due to human activities. These rooftop gardens are not just beautiful, but functional. They serve as insulation, reducing the need for air conditioning in the summer and heating in the winter. Some even grow vegetables and herbs, contributing to local food production and promoting a culture of urban farming. Now let's talk sustainability. In Japan, it's not just a trendy term, but a way of life. The country's commitment to sustainability is deeply ingrained in its urban planning strategies. 
from energy efficient buildings and public transport systems to waste management and recycling initiatives, Japanese cities are constantly striving to reduce their environmental footprint. One of the key aspects of this sustainability drive is the emphasis on public transportation. Japanese cities are equipped with extensive and efficient public transport networks, which not only reduce traffic congestion, but also minimize carbon emissions. Waste management is another area where Japanese cities excel. Strict recycling rules, waste sorting guidelines, and community-led cleanliness drives are a common feature in Japanese cities. They not only keep the cities clean, but also ensure that waste is reduced and resources are efficiently used. Furthermore, Japanese cities are increasingly incorporating renewable energy sources into their infrastructure. Solar panels, wind turbines, and other renewable energy technologies are becoming more commonplace, contributing to a more sustainable urban environment. These efforts are not just about preserving the environment, but also about creating a better quality of life for residents. They reflect a balance between modern city living and respect for nature, a balance that is at the heart of Japan's urban planning philosophy. In Japan, sustainability isn't just a buzzword, it's a blueprint for urban living. So there you have it. The secret to Japan's great cities lies in their innovative planning, cultural richness, technological advancements, community spirit, and focus on sustainability. From the towering skyscrapers of Tokyo to the tranquil temples of Kyoto, the harmony of tradition and modernity in Japan is a testament to the country's innovative urban planning. It's not just about creating a city that looks good on a postcard, but about building an environment that caters to the needs of its residents, ensuring safety, efficiency, and beauty. And speaking of beauty, let's not forget the cultural richness that's so deeply woven into the urban fabric of these cities. Even amidst the hustle and bustle of city life, the ancient traditions are preserved and celebrated, making every corner of the city a living museum of the country's rich heritage. Now, what's a city without its people? The spirit of community and cleanliness in Japanese cities is nothing short of inspiring. It's not just about keeping the streets clean. It's about taking pride in your environment, about ensuring that the city you call home is a place you're proud to show to the world. And of course, we can't overlook the role of technological advancements. From public transportation to sanitation, technology is an integral part of everyday city life in Japan. It not only makes life easier, but also contributes to making these cities among the most efficient in the world. Lastly, even with their dense populations, cities like Tokyo have managed to maintain green spaces and focus on sustainability. It's a reminder that urban life and nature can coexist, that progress doesn't have to come at the expense of the environment. So what's the takeaway from all this? Well, it's simple. A truly great city isn't just about having impressive buildings or advanced technology. It's about creating a space where tradition and innovation, community and individuality, nature and urban life can all thrive together. Remember, every city has its secrets. In Japan, these secrets aren't hidden. They're lived every day. Until next time, keep exploring.